At destruction in Kobe 2018, chaos erupted. The moment Okada's dominant grip on New Japan loosened, Switchblade Jay White exploited it. Before the declaration of this new era, let's take a look back on the origins of a faction that stood together for nearly a decade. I'm Kevin Kelly, and this is The Recount. It all started in 2009, and it all started, appropriately enough, with betrayal. From 2006 to 2009, the most brutally effective stable in New Japan was Togi Makabe's GBH. The initials stood for Great Bash Heel, a name indicative of how they aligned themselves to other wrestlers. They were imposing bruisers, who fell out of the New Japan wrestler archetype at the time and developed deep-seated resentment as a result. Makabe loved New Japan, but toiled as a mid-card for years, struggling to compete like a New Japan wrestler, and found a kindred spirit in deathmatch wrestler Tomoaki Honma. GBH also recruited Tomohiro Ishii, whose height would have precluded him from joining the New Japan Dojo, causing him to work his way up from the independents, and veteran tag team Jato and Gato who traveled around the world several times over before landing in New Japan. Even grounded amateur wrestlers Toru Yano and Takashi Iska became a sake swilling brawler and a demented monster. Meanwhile, Shinsuke Nakamura, having proved his phenomenal natural ability by winning the IWGP Heavyweight Championship just a year and three months into his career, spent time on excursions to Mexico and Los Angeles between tours before truly tapping into the hidden charisma that made him a megastar. He connected with indie prospects on the West Coast before returning back home to form the Real International Super Elite, or RISE. This group was a melting pot of young, hungry talent comprised of Hiroyuki Goto, Milano Collection AT, Prince Devon, Loki, and Giant Bernard. Rise's collision with GBH was the story of 2008, a feud pulsing with heated, bloody battles, among them being Hiroki Goto's emotional G1 Climax victory. That very same hunger, however, prompted some to take shortcuts. When Nakamura and Goto challenged IWGP Tag Champions Togi Makabe and Toru Yano in September, the impulsive giant Bernard turned on the Rise leader, jumping ship to GBH along with Low Key. The remaining members of Rise went their separate ways, while Shinsuke's resentment and hatred for Makabe bore deep. 2009's resolution card was built around the end of discord between the two rivals. Contrary to its name, the match started violently when a brawl broke out as Nakamura made his entrance. The tone was set for the rest of the night, being too much for any referee to contain, eventually resulting in Tiger Hattori being knocked to the ground. Taking advantage, Makabe grabbed a chair to put an end to Nakamura, but Yano insisted he be the one to deliver the finishing blow. And that he did, but not to Nakamura. After the dust settled, the two walked out of the ring together and embarked on a mystifying journey. By the end of the month, the master thief revealed that he had poached every single member of Makabe's group, barring one, to join him and Nakamura in a new stable they called Chaos. The rivalry with Makabe seemed to push Nakamura to ever darker and stranger places. It was, after all, that bitter hatred toward the unchained gorilla that allowed him to form allegiances with his stablemates. He wanted to extinguish Makabe's fiery aura and take his empire from him. Makabe became obsessed with vengeance and made it the top goal on his list for the rest of 2009. He took on his former allies, one notably being Takashi Iska, in a bloody chain deathmatch. And whenever possible, Nakamura himself. This included a role reversal from the prior G1 Climax Final. In 2008, Goto had to overcome not just Makabe, but the presence of the entire GBH crew at ringside. 
A year later, Makabe refused backup and sent Honma to the back. Nakamura responded by doing the same to Toriano, ensuring that they settle this one-on-one. -on -one. While the rest of Chaos weren't afraid to break rules, Nakamura maintained a respect for the honor and traditions of pro wrestling and made sure Chaos followed suit. He emanated a new, although vicious, philosophy of strong style in the ring, but strong style nonetheless. In 2008, a bloodied Hiroki Goto conquered the tournament in a hard-fought win over Makabe as Nakamura yelled encouragement from ringside. The next year, it was Makabe who wore the mask of crimson and overcame injury to defeat Nakamura. When IWGP heavyweight champion Hiroshi Tanahashi was forced to vacate the belt due to a fractured eye socket, Nakamura pried the title away from his rival to begin his third, final, and most memorable reign. A reign that included a fantastic main event at Wrestle Kingdom 4, a title defense against combat sport legend Yoshihiro Takayama. Be sure to follow along as we continue our tour throughout the history of chaos. And don't forget to sign up at njpwworld.com to watch all these legendary matches in full.